science or nature is beyond our imagination. So every time you do an experiment, you may be able to see a secret of nature. What is very important for a scientist is to catch it. When you do experiments, there is this one moment where you know something that literally no one else in the world knows. You've discovered something. This passion for discovery and going into areas where nobody else has gone before, that's really what hooks you at the end. To try to figure out exactly how things work and then the ripple that you can have from this one discovery would just be amazing. I think people go into science because they're curious, they care about people, and they want to find answers. Everything we do are assays designed to reveal the invisible. We are first and foremost a basic research institute. Basic science is our strength at Gladstone. Basic science with a purpose. We want to take that fundamental knowledge and actually use it, leverage it, to find cures. It's not enough for us just to make discoveries. It's also our mission to make sure that those discoveries ultimately get into people. We've chosen to work in three of the most important areas of disease. Diseases of the heart, diseases of the brain, and diseases caused by uh, deadly viruses. We all have friends and family who have Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, heart disease, HIV. The diseases that we're trying to tackle are so complex. You need to get at them from all kinds of angles. We've created a wonderful environment at Gladstone in which basic scientists work hand in hand with physician scientists, so they help us move things from the research bench into the clinic. With the research and trying to figure out exactly the mechanism of how this disease works and that we are able to prevent it, the number of people that you can then help, it's in the millions. It was by understanding how each of HIV's enzymes work that we were able to come up with inhibitors. And those are now the drugs that are saving people's lives. Research is so versatile and leads in so many unpredictable directions. You have to have this freedom to explore, to actually discover something fundamentally new. We have this training that's not just micro-focused on a particular question, but that you're allowed to think pretty broadly about different questions. It's a big part of being at the Gladstone Institute. With our work in stem cell biology, we're doing today what even five years ago was science fiction. It's become real. We can now reprogram one type of cell to another. We can turn your skin cell into a heart cell or a brain cell. The excitement of looking under a microscope and seeing a little beating heart cell and realize that that cell began as a skin cell. Most of the real breakthroughs take place outside the established lanes. A great example here, of course, is the creation of the, the IPS cell by Shinya Yamanaka. We're encouraged to take risks, to focus on the science which will make a difference in medicine and in people's lives. I'm very impatient. I really want research to be expanded many-fold. I'm 46 years old, and I was diagnosed at 25. I'm a living miracle. I truly believe that. We're going to be able to treat conditions that are currently incurable. What drives me to spend more time looking at the microscopic level is I can have an impact on a global level. If you keep doing really, really solid science, you can compress that timeline from discovery to implementation. When you're at the very leading edge of what you're doing, it is very risky, it's very time consuming, it's very expensive. Breakthroughs, development of therapeutics, it really always takes a team effort. If we really want these kinds of breakthroughs to happen, then we need to support them in their pursuit for the good of humankind. Work at Gladstone has high promise to be the game changer. I think it really appeals to the core of so many people to hear about what we're capable of and what's on the horizon. Inspiration is the most powerful thing around, and I think, I think Gladstone is, is doing that. They give me hope. What scientists need is freedom to follow wherever the science might lead. It's a combination of many scientists, many, many previous efforts. I think that's the beauty of science.